I'm Phil, and today I want to share my experiences with um, six M5 stack cameras. The latest one, the Atom S3R camera kit uh, the, with the uh, M12 lens, uh, was just released about a month ago, and I purchased it, and it arrived about three weeks ago. So uh, let's look at the camera first. And uh, it, when you look at the um, support, this is what the camera looks like. It's uh, using an Atom S3R computer. Uh, and it has a, a um, image sensor on board. So you can see the construction of it. It's actually got quite a lot of um, peripherals. So in addition to the camera, uh, there's also a um, an IMU accelerometer in six dimensions, three for acceleration and three for gyro. It also has a magnetometer, and you can use it um, for a uh, infrared remote. Uh, so it's actually got quite a lot of resources on board. Cost-wise, it's um, $24 US dollars. Uh, so what would you use it for? Um, IoT applications. I'll be using it um, in STEM projects. So um, what are its features? Well, it's a three megapixel camera with nine axis camera sensors, plenty of RAM, eight megabytes of flash and PS RAM. So it looks like a pretty powerful unit. But if we go actually back to um, what they're claiming, software wise, it's supposed to have support on Arduino, UI Flow 2 and micro Python. And uh, we'll have a look at that in a minute, whether those claims are true or not. So uh, hardware wise, we've actually seen most of that already. So um, software, uh, you can use a program called Easy Loader to download the demonstration software and unfortunately that's all there is so there's a demo uh, no IDE Arduino IDE support no UI flow so uh, the claims that this has some um, support uh, under those platforms is not true that might change in time we might find in six months time we do get some uh, support in those platforms so project wise i've tried to commission it i've done very simple tests uh, the sort of things i wanted to test it as a usb camera a wi-fi camera and the wi-fi uh, home server uh, uh, wi-fi server and will it connect to my home network and uh, i've got two of these cameras and uh, the results were I was able to get um, uh, some performance, but the uh, images are very noisy. So one camera is significantly worse than the other. And this is the only software that you get, and it can't connect to the home network. What a disappointment. You can't um, secure your um, Wi-Fi link. It's open. And the reliability, the, the range is poor, and it um, disconnects after about 15 minutes. So this is a totally hopeless uh, camera, and I do not recommend it. So critique-wise, well, it's low cost. It's much higher than the previous cameras sold by M5 stack. It's got plenty of memory. That's a good point. It's got lots of um, resources. But the problem is you can't access any of those resources. Uh, just just useless. So I, I'm wondering if the software people at M5 Stack talk to the hardware people because there's nothing that's um, integrated. 
Okay, so we've had one failed camera. Six months ago, I bought the Unit Cam S3 Wi Fi camera, and um, it doesn't fare much better. First of all, we might have a look to see what it is. Uh, like the other camera, it's got plenty of resources on board. It's got a microphone, and it has um, a micro SD card. So in theory, you can um, collect an image every five seconds or so and uh, save that onto your micro SD card. They don't tell you um, that there is a, a limit to the size of the micro SD card. There's no specifications uh, published anywhere. And it's much cheaper than the previous camera. And I purchased this in uh, May uh, this year. Uh, you could use it for similar applications. And um, we might go across and have a look at the, um, the projects. Software-wise, we'll have a look at that. Uh, again, you can use um, uh, the M5 burner, and there's uh, a couple of um, demos that you can um, uh, download for that. But note, there is nothing that supports... Um, the UI flow. So you can't program this. Uh, you can't access another camera, which is quite disappointing. So project-wise, I've um, commissioned it, and um, I was able to get pictures. Much better, not as noisy as the, um, the other camera, and I was able to upload uh, images to the uh, site at um, M5 Stack called EZ Data. So um, while it uh, does some things, it's just as limiting with a bit of better performance on its image quality. So how do I um, compare? How do I view this camera? It is low cost, lower than the other one. It's got extra resources, SD card, LED microphone, it's Lego compatible. Uh, that is, you can mount it on Lego using Lego parts. But again, how do you access all these resources? Uh, they um, are just not available. There is, while they call it a unit, it um, nothing. There is nothing published, even with a six months delay, uh, that supports that claim. So look, let's have a look at the M5 Stack ESP32 uh, Timer Camera X. And I bought this more than four years ago. So uh, let's see how it performs. First of all, have a look at what the camera is. And um, you can see some of the specs that it comes with. Uh, the timer on board has uh, is a real time clock an RTC, and uh, you can use that to um, put the um, camera to sleep. And you can use this one in conjunction with a core computer and uh, program it. Uh, we'll, we'll see uh, what that's like. Uh, three megapixels gives you um, 1600 by 1024. And price-wise, it was a lot cheaper when I bought it. If you want to try and buy this today, and it is still available, it's gone up in price. Okay, so um, let's have a look at the features. We've seen most of these already. Fairly good memory. Uh, it'll support most of the programming uh, that you can do with it. They claim programming on platforms of um, Arduino and UI Flow. Uh, and uh, hardware-wise, um, all the specs are published, and it has a battery on board. So let's have a look at the software. And um, you can see here on the software, uh, it has uh, limited support under the um, Arduino IDE. So four years ago, I did most of my work on this, and um, I was able to get it eventually to wake up. Let's have a look at the, the burner software is questionable, and so is the UI flow. 
but um, I've resurrected my interest in the camera. And um, four years ago, I couldn't do much with the projects. But um, yesterday I did uh, a, uh, a project and I realized that you had to um, use the uh, M5 burner to download firmware to get support uh, for the um, UI flow. And this is what we're going to do on this project. So on the desktop, uh, the camera is mounted to a uh, Grove via uh, Grove cable to an M5 core computer on the bottom. And uh, there's my picture as I'm uh, taking pictures with my camera. You can see me on the screen of the core computer. The whole thing is mounted on Lego parts, which is quite good. I think this is one of the um, good points about the cameras uh, that you get from um, M5 stack. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, what the project is trying to achieve. We want to test UI flow with the um, Timer Camera X and uh, use it as a unit with the um, core computer and get an image on the core's LCD screen. We also want to um, construct the mechanical mount using Lego parts. So hardware-wise, we're um, using the um, core computer and uh, you need to supplement that because with the core, you only get access to port A and um, I need to uh, use a port B. So um, you need one of the other modules that fits on uh, that. And these are the only couple that are available at the moment. They do have, uh, in addition to um, battery uh, support, they also have um, ports B and C. Uh, the camera, uh, the timer camera, and I'm also using additional clips uh, that allow me to mount the camera onto uh, Lego parts. And the most important of these is this one. So you plug in the camera onto that stand. And I'm using Grove with a cable and a, uh, a base. And pins. Software-wise, I'm using UI Flow and I'm using a user interface. So I'm while I paint that on the screen, um, I don't really use it that much. But it is important to load and flash the timer uh, cam for UI flow. And that's um, using a, uh, a tool called the M5 burner. Code-wise, well, this is my code. Quite simple. And it, um, there is an example. I've modified that slightly uh, so that I um, initiate the... Uh, UART mode straight off in uh, setup. Um, looking at um, when you press button A, it's supposed to go onto the cloud, but there's no support on how you use that. So it was pretty useless. But at least I can say that the uh, UART does work. Unfortunately, it's a pretty dumb program. You can't do much more than that. So I'm just wondering... While there are APIs for it, there's no special APIs for the timer. So you can't uh, collect images every five uh, seconds or so and save them. So um, overall, uh, while it did most of the things I wanted to do, it has severe limitations. The APIs are for an, really another camera, and they just ported all of that across without taking additional um, support for the timer. It's minimal use of that timer and it can't take a sequence of images and it's not clear how you can upload that to the cloud and to easy data. So images wise, the software is pretty useless. But um, at least four years ago, they had a programmable camera that you could use with uh, UI Flow. Uh, 
unlike the other more recent cameras where the software uh, support from M5 Stack is even is quite useless or non-existent. In the next video, I'll show you three cameras which perform much better. This is the uh, timer cam as a unit to the computer M5 stack core. And um, you can see that as I'm moving around, you can get the picture on the screen of the um, core computer. And um, I'll just check out the buttons. So when you press button A, it sends the uh, data to the cloud. Um, but it doesn't do much. And it also uh, freezes for about five seconds. So it's frozen now. Uh, if, you, if you want to send it to um, the uh, USB port, you press button C. And we're back to um, normal operations. And the nice thing about it, it's got fantastic um, support with uh, Lego mounts. And you can um, put the camera at um, any angle that you want to. And that's the um, timer camera uh, from M5 Stack on the core computer.